Okay, here we are at the uh, forefront here of the Assault Head KMJ 345. And I just got through CCing the exhaust ports and, and the intakes. More specifically, I, I did that because I want to be really hitting the exhaust pretty hard doing something that I haven't showed you before, but um, at least on the exhaust side. But the main reason was I wanted to prove something to y'all that I think I've mentioned before, but this time here I'm going to really emphasize it. When you get a set of heads from an aftermarket manufacturer, whether it be Brodex, Dart, KMJ Assault, Pro Comp, what have you, uh, they're all liars. Uh, the quality control is outrageous. Uh, this is a perfect example right here. This is the 345cc KMJ assault head. Uh, let me see if I can read you a part number off of it here. That way for all you guys that say, well, that might not be a 345. Well, I can assure you this is a 345. Um, looks like 201, 205, 29er, A is an apple, number 2, and then a 28 and a C. So I'm sure that has to work out somewhere in reference to being the 345cc big block Chevrolet head. Okay, I went in here, cross-sectioned it, of course, done all my work on it to the point I want to bring. The exhaust port is 145 cc's to start with, 145. Now they didn't make no claim on that one, but here's your difference. I cc the number one and the number three intake ports. This is a 2300 valve. This is your 188 valve. Top of the line is uh, severe stainless from SI. And it wasn't nowhere near that. First off, from the left hook to the right hook, let's look at some numbers. Uh, I'm going to bring the camera over here a little bit closer in a minute. So let me stop this a second and get your actual numbers because I want you to understand this. Now I'm a little bit better off to show you the situation here. As you see, these heads are advertised at 345. Now, I put up the head's not been touched. I put a stud in the top. And it was just, it was a short stub, if anything, so I tried to give it every break it could. 329 cc's on the inner port, number three. 324 cc's on the end port. Yet they call them 345s. There's a 5.4 cc difference from the left to the right. So my key here, uh, listening to my customer, what he's running, I would say to bring it up to the advertised 345 and balance the two runners out is going to be the objective here. Uh, one of the things that uh, Raymond was worried about was going too big with the 500 inch motor. He is going to pro charge it. And we was thinking, you know, with the heads being what they are, maybe ending up with 355 to 360, we were worried. But actually, for in his case, as it turns out, he's actually going to be pretty good because getting these things up to 345 or even 350 and balancing the two runners out is going to be the key here. I do that, then I think I've done pretty much what the man wanted me to. There's that problem, and then there's the exhaust problem, which I'm going to show you how I do that.